Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Today we're going to be doing something that I'm sure everybody else and their mother is going to be doing a video about because there's no way anyone's going to sit back and let Super M debut and not say something about it. So I'm also going to do that because apparently I'm unoriginal and the they just debuted today when I'm recording this. So <laughs> I'm sorry, I hate myself, but I'm just going to jump into it. So first of all, the name, like I know everyone always makes fun of it, but genuinely the first time I read it, along with everybody else, I, I actually thought it said sperm. Like Super M looks so bad stylized, like no matter how you stylize it, it looks like sperm in it, especially if you don't capitalize any letters. It's just bad. Also the Avengers of K-pop tagline, I don't know. I'm not a personal fan of it. I think it's kind of cheesy or whatever, but I don't really care about the whole international promotion shtick that SM is having them run. It says international, but I'm not really sure. I think that that just means the American market, if we're being honest. Like, I don't think that means any other country, which is like, okay, but then why don't they just say that? Like, why did they have to lie and like pretend that they're going to go? Like, international doesn't just mean the US, guys. Like, there's so many other markets, but also SM is like banned in China or whatever. So, oops, um, let's watch them get banned in the US too. Who knows? I wouldn't be surprised. But um, I do want to start this off by saying like, I really like the group members. I love EXO. I love SHINee. I love NCT. I love WAVY. So this has nothing to do with the individual members. I'm still going to support Super M because I love those boys, all of them. And I'm going to support for them and them alone, not SM. I don't, don't get it twisted. I'm not here to support SM. I'm never supporting SM because SM is trash, but we can talk about that a different day if you want. But, um, this isn't about them. I think that I just don't like that SM made this in the first place just because it, well, yeah, I get that they're a company. I get that they have to make money, but I feel like this wasn't necessarily the only way they could have done it. I don't know because all these members are already in groups except for Taemin, but that's because his entire group is currently enlisted in the military, but Shiny still exists. They never disbanded, but like Baekhyun and Kai are in EXO still. Mark and Young are still in NCT, and then Lucas and Ten are still in Wavy, yet here we are taking arguably the more favorite or fan favorite members out of the group, which is something I'll touch on later, um, and then just shoving them into a weird compilation group, which is one thing if this was like a unit like if this was like they were doing like one thing and that was it and then they're gonna go back but this seems like a legitimate group that they're now doing and to me that signifies that none of the other groups that they're originally a part of are going to be doing any activities for the foreseeable future because super m is literally going on like an a tour of north america like right now like in november for like a few months and i just can't imagine that anything happens with any of the original groups that they came from, which just really sucks for the other groups. Like I know when people do like Produce 101 or a different like competition show like that, the group will promote without them. But like they took, like SM already picks favorites and they took their favorites from those groups to make like a mega favorite group. Like NCT is never ever going to do anything without Mark and Tae Young. Like they could do it with, NCTU, but let's be real, like NCTU always has either Mark or Tae Young in it. So like that's not happening. I can't imagine Wavy doing anything without Lucas or Ten, but I don't know. Maybe we'll be surprised since Wavy is a more relatively new group. But like EXO is already like falling apart. Like let's be honest. Like SM could have had them have a full OT8 or OT9 come back if Lei wanted to be part of it before Shreeman went into the military, but they just didn't. And then Dio went into the military and it's just like, okay, well, whatever. I heard Kai said that EXO is going to come back before the end of the year, but I kind of like really don't believe that. It's been almost a full year since like Love Shot came out in like a few months. So like, I just, I don't have any faith, but I don't know. I mean, I guess it's not as big of a deal for like Taemin because 
he doesn't really have a group to go back to right now, but I just don't think it's fair to everyone else because like they're not going to get to do anything for however long this is going to be going on for, which really sucks. <laughs> and I just like, I don't get it. Also, I get that this is probably going to make SM a ton of money, but SM could have made just as much money if they like properly promoted the artists that they already have, like if they just gave EXO regular comebacks, which they just cannot seem to do ever and haven't been able to do for years now, you know, did more things with NCT, I, I guess, I don't know. I guess NCT Dream has kind of been doing the thing right now, but like they could just give NCT 127 another comeback. Give Tame In another solo comeback. Like it's really not that hard, but yet here we are not doing that just putting a band-aid over the problem that they could fix themselves and then being like, oh, you know what? We're going to make a brand new group and we're going to make a ton of money off of it, even though we have a bunch of already profitable people in groups that if we just, you know, promoted them, maybe it would be fine. But here we are. But, you know, whatever. Also, Ekyan is totally going into the military next year. Like, Suho is supposed to go at the end of this year, which is why I'm even less confident about the EXO comeback happening. Um, but like Baekhyun and the rest of that line is supposed to go into the military next year. So at the most, Super M is promoting as a full group for like one and a half years, maybe two if they're lucky, depending on when his enlistment duty is called up or whatever. He gets, I don't know, maybe you get like a thing in the mail. I'm not totally sure, but like he's going, um, so I don't know, are they going to start promoting with Super M without Baekhyun? Like, I would find that hard to believe. And then Taemin is going to have to go the year after that. So, like, I just feel like timing-wise, like, this was bad. Because, like, it's it, if it's so profitable and it's not even going to be around that long, like, was it really worth not just, like, cultivating the groups you already have? I don't know. But I don't know. SM also, like, picked all their favorite people to put in it. And, you know, I guess SM loves Baekhyun because... I also love Baekhyun. Like, Baekhyun's super talented, but, you know, you can totally tell that they picked favorites. Like, everyone loves Kai. Kai is, like, ugh, ugh. he looks stunning all the time. He is a, he's a snack. But like, especially from, like, NCT, like, we always joke, like, oh, Mark and Taeyong are in every NCT unit, but it's not a joke. Like, SM eats up the two of them. Mostly because they're probably the best rappers SM has in their um, in their repertoire. But clearly this is also, in the music video, you can tell this is the Mark and Taemin show. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, this is the Mark and Young show. They have so many rap parts in it. Um, and then Taemin and Baekhyun, of course, are both the main vocalists. So they had a lot of time. But then, like, I don't know. Like, Kai actually had a surprising amount of lines, considering that in EXO, Kai, like gets nothing and you can never really tell like is Kai a vocalist is Kai a rapper is Kai Kai I don't know what 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 SM is doing with Kai half the time like yeah he's a really great dancer but like what is he a vocalist or a rapper I don't think they know but he actually had a surprising amount of lines considering that he never gets any so I was pretty happy about that however going into this video I had a feeling that Ten and Lucas were going to get the shaft on this one because SM is notorious about not treating foreign members well. We've seen it with Win Win. We saw it with all the Chinese members of EXO. And here we are yet again seeing it with Super M. Number one, 10 does have some lines. However, 10 is officially a rapper of this group. He is main dancer and lead rapper. What the Fuck. Have you ever heard Ten sing? He has the voice of an angel. Like, you can't tell me you didn't listen to Baby, Do Baby Don't Stop. Like, SM, did they just forget about that? Because you listen to that and, like, Ten is like butter. His voice is butter. And yet here we are with a rapper in a group that has seven members. Five of them are rappers. Literally everyone except Taemin and Be Baekhyun are rappers. And I'm just like, isn't that a little overkill? Like, nobody's getting any lines anyways for rapping. It's only Taeyong and Mark, which is pretty on brand anyways. Lucas has literally no lines. Like, oh, I did the... I, did, I watched a line distribution of... Jopping. 
which I, mm, mm, okay, later. Lucas has so few lines, it's disgusting. Also, I thought 10 was Mark when he did his rap part because it genuinely just sounded like Mark. And then when I realized it was 10, I was like, oh my God, 10 is a rapper. I hate my life. But on the B-sides, there are four B-sides on the mini album. Not everyone is in all of them. There's actually only one B-side that every single member is in, but there are two other ones. And Taman and Beckyon are in both of them, I, I, I think. Don't quote me on that one. I Taman is definitely in every single song on the album. I think Beckyon is as well. Lucas is in two out of four B-sides, the full group one, and then one other one. In the full group one, which is I Can't Stand the Rain, he has literally one line. Just one. Just one. And in Too Fast, the other B-side that he's in, he only says the words too fast. Now, does he say the words too fast well? Too fast. Yes, I felt something deep, deep within me when he says it. But the fact that that's all he says, I'm... I knew this would happen because they they looked at Wavy and they said, okay, so who are your most popular members? And it was going to be like Ten and Lucas because they were part of NCT 2018. They were in NCTU. Everyone freaking loves Lucas because he's beautiful. I guess they felt like they didn't have enough main dancers already with like the every single main dancer that he took from every other group. So they were like, okay, Ten. People know Ten. Also, Ten speaks English, and so does Lucas. And if they're going to be promoting in America, they need people that speak English besides Mark. So they were like, okay, we're going to take Lucas. But they just didn't give Lucas anything. So Lucas is literally just a face. He has no lines. I can't see them giving him any lines, despite the fact that he is a great rapper. But <laughs> SM wouldn't know because the only time he's ever really gotten lines was literally in like the one song he's ever been in, in NCT itself, which was Boss, because nobody had lines in Black on Black because there was 20 people in it. And then Takeoff, but <laughs> SM probably didn't listen to Takeoff. He was like, oh, we're banned in China, whatever. We will be. I can't anymore with SM and their foreign members. I was so upset. Like I, I thought maybe I went in there thinking like, oh, maybe it'll be better than it was. It wasn't, it wasn't. And it makes me so sad. The other thing that makes me sad is the fact that it's Jopping. What? I don't know who sat there and thought that Jopping was a good name. Like I get it, it's jumping and popping, but also like, I hate that. I, I really hate that it sounds so bad. Like that's never gonna happen. Like I literally feel like Regina George and being like, stop trying to make Jopping happen. Like it's never going to, it literally sounds so bad and I hate it. As far as the song itself goes, the song is fine. I think it's it's pretty catchy. It gives me, like, honestly, the entire thing just gives me very NCT vibes. Just because, like, NCT and Wavy, especially the music video, have been really going for this, like, futuristic hip-hop thing recently. And I felt like that's what it was about. So the music video looked pretty cool. The song itself, I wish it wasn't called Jopping because it makes me really not want to listen to it because if somebody asked me like, oh, what are you listening to? And I said Jopping, I'd literally throw up <laughs> on them. Um, I hate it a lot. It's That's not it, sis. It's not. But the song itself is fine. I didn't think that it was going to be bad. Typically, SM songs are pretty good. At least title tracks are. SM as a company is just bad. And I think that this group is a little eh, not my favorite, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to complain, but I'm still going to support. But the problem is, is if I support Super M because I love the members, I'm just supporting SM anyway. So then SM is going to think they can keep doing this. I don't know. I don't know. My friend did point out that like it might have been smart to do this group because if it doesn't work out, then they can just phase it away when Baekhyun has to go into the military and then it'll be like, oh no, it's done. And then we just don't talk about it anymore. And then if it does succeed, they can just go from there. Like, oh, Baekhyun's gone. Oh, wait, that means we don't have any vocalists left besides Taemin. That's a different issue since Ten isn't technically a vocalist. There's only two of them. And they're the two literal oldest members of the group who are both about to go into the military. So didn't think that one through too well, SM. Is this going to be a new NCT dream-esque thing like oh you graduate by going to the military and then we recruit some new people into it like what's up with that but yeah 
Super M, I'm interested to see where this goes. I'm still not happy about it for the sake of the other groups, but also, like, I'm not surprised because SM is bad at making good decisions, like, very bad. They make me so mad. But, yeah, what are your opinions on Super M as a group? Do you like the song? Do you like the music video? Do you hate SM? I'm not going to ask if you like SM because I don't know anyone that actually likes SM as a company. So, and if you do, I, please leave. I just, I, I can't. But anyways, thank you all for listening to my, it was essentially a rant for almost 20 minutes, but I will see you in the next one.